Charlie Brown's restaurant has been a Lexington staple for nearly 50 years, but this spring it's been taken over by a new ownership with ties to horse racing. So me and Chris Brothers have been coming here for over a decade and uh, became friends with all the owner and the staff and um, always kind of joked that we'd like to own it one day. And old owner was named David Fuller. Um, he owned it for 40 years. Dave reached out to us one day and said it was time to pass on the torch and we were pretty much honored, I mean, very honored to given, be given that opportunity. I mean, the history of it, you know, being here for 50 years and it's a major part of the community. Every inch of this place just screams him. And so uh, we wanted to continue his legacy. He got, he got a lot of big offers from a lot of outsiders to buy it, but he wanted it to stay relatively in-house. And that's where our other partner, Chris Beeler, is involved. Um, he worked here for 13 years as a bartender, cook, and manager. Um, and uh, so he's been a huge asset to us as you know, horse racing outsiders of the restaurant industry. So I'm a relative, basically a bloodstock agent. I own uh, Climax Stallions. Um, we got stallions in California, Florida, Maryland, and West Virginia right now. Um, I got Feld Family Racing, um, which is a partnership group. I'm a line cook here. Um, as much as I can, I love it. I own Xavier International Bloodstock. Um, been doing that for a while, and then started Stable Duel, and was doing that for about five, six years. Right when this opportunity came around, I, it, was, it was actually perfect because I was wanting a little change of pace. The cooking part, I would probably eat too much of it. I got fired from my uncle's restaurant when I was a kid for eating the bread coming out of the oven. So I'm, I'm better in the front. The, the beauty of it is having two of your best friends as partners is we back each other up with everything we can do. And we have no problem getting dirty. We have no problem cooking. We have no problem cleaning tables, busing, everything. Uh, this place is special because it's uh, all ages can come. Um, we, we got the richest people in Lexington come, and we got students that you know can't rub two pennies together that come. So it's a hodgepodge of society, and everyone has a good time. The people in this community really respect the vibe and respect the atmosphere, and so we don't plan on changing anything. If you're here for this long, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But we're excited with Keeneland coming up and hoping we'll get a bunch of people before, during, and after the races. It's a great place to watch horse racing. Um, you'll always have someone at the bar that has a form out or their iPad out rooting on some horse and all ages. There's always horse racing on. And uh, we actually had a bunch of people here to watch the Dubai World Cup. And uh, hopefully, maybe down the line, we'll have a Royal Ascot party or two um, as well. So we're, we're gonna definitely be cats forward and horse forward as well.